So she's thought about it, but she's not trying to sell at that moment. So she went from, I'm not trying to sell anything to now she's telling me that she has thought about it, right? So she, that's 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 the reason the key, man. It's just getting over that hurdle of people, that automatic response, right? They hear salesmen, no. Salesman, no. If you can get past that by using your tone and using, you know, just being creative with the way that you're speaking to people, you'll be able to get past that initial barrier and and really be able to close some emails out of these. I know exactly where your where your career is headed because of the way that you communicate. Yeah. Just the way that you communicate with people and really connect, and you got the you do you got the right tone and the pauses and the speed and everything, man. The way that you communicate is just top notch, first class. And that is the number one skill. I need to watch Marquess Branson's video, like seriously, like 15 times. This is groundbreaking, like life-changing stuff when you listen to this guy talk. I'm serious. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another video. Um, if you haven't already yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell button so you know when I'm dropping new videos. Uh, we're gonna go through some more of my calls. All of my calls that we go through during Tone Tuesdays, the ones that I've recorded on Red X. The Red X is what I use as far as you know, to make my calls. If you have any questions about that, shoot me a message in the comment section. Uh, without further ado, well, let's hop right in. Hello. Hey, yes, ma'am. This is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here at Vansfield. So what usually happens whenever I start off like that, that the person's name didn't pop up, right? So a lot of people have questions about what do I say when the person's name doesn't pop up in Red X? Well, the name of this person was NRG Investment Group, LLC. There's no name associated with that. So there's two ways that I usually go about that. I'll either just go straight into who I am, where I'm from, and why I'm, and you know, did I catch you at a bad time? Or I'll ask, hey, I'm looking for the property owner of X, XX Circle Street, you know, does that ring a bell, right? So that's kind of the reason why we went straight into who I was and what you're going through. Did I catch you at a bad time? Um, no, not really. How can no. I help you? Okay, okay. Yeah, I was uh, just giving you a quick call. So usually I like to have a little break, a little filler in there, like, hey, you know, okay, yeah, I'm just here trying to stay safe from COVID, man. Uh, but it really depends on how they react to that initial intro, right? So she was like, how can I help you? So rather than going into, hey, I'm just here at home, getting some work done, staying safe from COVID, how about yourself, right? Not not appropriate during that time. Right now, let's go straight into what we're calling for. Oh, I, uh, I sold a house there in the neighborhood in Little Elm, and I was calling some neighbors, seeing if I could help anybody else. Oh. Just calling some neighbors, you know, just see if I can help anybody else. I sold the house around the corner from you, so just seeing if I can help anybody else. I would call the neighbors, right? That's the tone. No, we just moved here three years ago. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah. Where did I move from? Did you hear the question? We just moved here three years ago. Okay, okay. Well, where'd you guys move from? Right? I'm interested. Be interested in them, right? To be interesting, you have to be interested in them. From neighborhood from little house we just got a bigger house oh i got you for sure mm -hmm. okay okay no worries yeah transition i just sold one over there on gregory creek and so okay. whenever i sell one i just like to call some neighbors see if i can help anybody else you know make it make sense for them right okay well yeah i got you well yeah i just sold i just sold the house over there on gregory creek so whenever i sell one i just call the neighbors to see if i can help anybody else that makes sense right that's what I'm doing there. That makes sense, right? I sold the house in the neighborhood, so I call the neighbors to see if anybody else needs help. Right? That's the tone. Yeah, but if they're selling, where are they going? That's a problem right now in this market, right? If they're selling, where are they going? So rather than try to get this, think of this whole thing and all this stuff, well, you can do this, you can do that, we can help you out. No, see, that's desperate. You know what I, you know what I say? Nah. Uh, look, <laughs> I was able to get them a deal on a bigger house and we got them a but I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with them right yeah it's not that easy in this market it's not you know it's kind of hard right now for sure so I definitely understand that you don't want to you know sell because you ain't got nowhere to go but think about that she's told me that she's probably maybe even thought about selling in the you know before in the past she's probably already thought about it but she knows she's not gonna be able to get something comparable right now in this market but again What's important is that I got her talking and we're building a little bit of rapport here. We was able to get it done, so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But no, we just been here three years, so, in this time. Yeah, yeah you can't for sure. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Pull it. You hear that? Yeah, you stay in put for sure. I got you. No worries, right? I'm not trying to sell you. I'm not trying to get you to buy some nothing. I'm not trying to get you to sell nothing. I understand. You only been there three years. Why would you leave? That doesn't make sense, right? So I'm going to always be in agreement with them because it's not about the deal for me. It's about the relationship, and that's what I'm going after. Let me ask you this. In the future, if you guys get in the market, say, five, ten years from now, do you have a you know realtor that you work with? quick transition right after that, right? Okay, let's move this on to where we need to go. Okay, well, maybe five years from now, 10 years from now, if you get in the market, do you have an agent that you work with? No, actually, I don't. You don't? Okay, okay. Did you hear, you hear that? You don't? You don't? Okay, okay. Okay, well, we got some, we cooking with something now. Okay, okay, cool. You don't have an agent? Well, I am an agent. You don't have one. Only makes sense, right? Right? That's the tone. Well, hey, I'm sure that at some point you'll probably want you to want to upsize, downsize, maybe five, ten years from now. Yeah, I'm sure. You hear it? Maybe I know some point you're gonna want to, you know, maybe upsize, maybe downsize, you no know, five, ten years from now, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I will. Right? Exactly. The tone, the tone got it. Would it be a crazy idea if we stay in touch? Maybe I can, you know, help you out with the time though. So. Would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? That's not a crazy idea, right? And I told, I guys, I use this, uh, I always want to use a question where they can have the freedom to answer no, right? Right? So if I would have asked it like, okay, would it be cool if we stayed in touch? Then they can answer yes. A lot of people don't, mm, no, yes, I don't really want to stay in touch, right? But I'm asking, would, you know, is that crazy if I say, you know, would, we, would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? No, that's not crazy, right? No, that's not crazy, right? Right? That's the tone. No, that's fine. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the um? What's a good email for you? And I'll I'll shoot you my info, and you know, just keep on file if you ever need it. Right. So she's giving me the commitment, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna transition into asking for the email, but I'm gonna do so in a, such a way where it's very unabrasive, right? Okay, okay. Well, hey, what's a good email for you? And I'll just shoot you my info, and you just keep it on file if you ever need it. If you ever need it, you're not gonna ever need it, but if you ever need it. You'll have it. That's the talk. Okay, it's L S T P Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm sorry, did you catch your first name? Lasagna. Lasagna, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lasagna. Well, my name is Mark Branson. Again, what I'll do in the meantime is I'll just text you a picture of my business card. You can kind of, you know, put a face with my voice. And if you ever need anything, just give me a shout. You hear the tone? Yeah, well, th look, this is what I'll do. You know, I'm just gonna text you a picture of my business card so you can put a face with my voice. That makes sense, right? That makes sense, right? You, you've been we've been talking, everything's cool, but I wanna make sure that you understand that I'm not no weird. All of that is connected into the tone. Just, just so, you know, if you ever need anything, you know, just give me a shout. Really, you know, hey, it is what it is or whatever. If you wanna give me a call, cool. If not, it's cool too. It's all good. Okay, Mark, thank you. Yes, ma'am. You have a blessing, okay? You too. Bye-bye. Hello? Hey, Ronald? Yes. Yeah. Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here in Plano. Did I catch you at a bad time? No. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just here. You can kind of tell he's not very open, right? You, you, can you feel that during that call? No? Okay. Let's see how I change the transition. Home, getting some work done, and I'm just trying to stay safe from COVID, man. How you guys been holding up so far? So now I switched into my COVID spiel, right? So, okay, man. Well, hey, I'm just at home getting some work done and, you know, just trying to stay safe from COVID. How you guys been holding up? And then I'm going to listen and see how he reacts to that. Well, well. You well? Okay. Really quick, short. What is that telling you? Are you listening? Okay. I need to get straight to the point. Let's do it. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't want to take a bunch of your time. Uh, I just sold a house in the neighborhood there in Little Elm, and I was just calling some neighbors, seeing if I could help anybody else out. No, we're not interested right now. You see how he opened up just a little bit more, right? It was one word, one word. Now he gave me like five, six. It's a little bit better, but it's not. He's still pretty closed off. Gotcha. Okay, no worries, no worries. Well, in the future, man. If Did you hear that? Okay, I got you. Well, no worries, no worries at all, man. Anything you know ever changes. Do you have a good realtor that you work with? No, we've had the post for 15 years. Okay, yeah, you hadn't thought anything about it at all. Right. I 
use that all the time as well. When someone says they've been there for whatever amount of years, oh, okay, okay, you ain't thought anything about this at all, right? Now, because they're gonna agree with me with that. No, I haven't. And that, that, loosens them, that loosens them up a little bit because of the tone as well though. Not, okay, you hadn't thought anything about it. No, oh, okay, yeah, you hadn't thought anything about it at all. Did you hear it? Oh, okay, yeah, man, yeah, you haven't thought, you haven't thought nothing about that at all, man. That's the tone. That's I got you for sure. Okay, man. Well, hey, in the future, I'd love the opportunity to work with you if it ever come up. Uh, would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help out. Okay, take care. Yep. You hear him? Okay, take care. He's thinking about hanging up. He's about to hang up. Okay, finally, I'm about to get off the phone with him. But you put, you got to push through because this is an example of, I didn't, honestly, when I was on the phone, I didn't think I was going to get this email. But watch what happens because I push through. Okay, all right, what's a good email for you? And I'll shoot you my information and, you know, you just keep it on file. It's Rod underscore nine at yahoo.com. Gotcha. Okay, all right, man. Well, I appreciate it. And if you ever need anything at all, just give me a shot. Thank you. All right, man. This is an example of pushing through the nose because you never know who's actually going to actually give you an email. They didn't sound like he was really open to any of that at all. But at a certain point, he still gave it to me because he was interested a bit and I didn't I didn't try to push him to do anything he wasn't trying to do, which is key. All right, let's hop into the next call. Hello? Hey, Sonia? Yes. Okay. Did you hear that? Hey, Sonia? 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 Upward inflection. So it's like, hey, I know you. Is it? I'm looking for Sonia. Is this you? And then she's going to be like, okay, yeah, who's this? Right? That's what she's thinking. Hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here in Mansfield. Did I hey, this is Mark Branson. I'm a realtor over here in Mansfield, right? I'm a realtor over in Mansfield. You know that, right? Did I catch you at a bad time? Nice and even. Did I catch you at a bad time? Yeah, I'm not interested in selling. I'm not interested in selling. Watch the rebuttal when I come with it. You got to watch how quick it happens. Yeah, I'm not trying to get you to sell anything. Yeah, I just uh. So I said, I'm not trying to get you to sell anything, right? I stopped just to see what she was going to say because most times people kind of say something else. Oh, okay, okay, what's going on? Something like that. But she didn't say a word. So I, I paused for a second. I heard she wasn't going to say nothing. Into, into the script. Let's go. I just sold the house over there in the in the neighborhood, and I was calling mm -hmm. her. I can help anybody else out with anything. Oh no! Did you hear that? Did you, that? That's key, man. That's key right there. Oh, my bad. This is what she's thinking. Oh, okay, my bad. You weren't really trying to sell me anything. I apologize. That's her tone. She didn't say all that, but you heard the tone, right? Oh, okay, my bad. And so now, guard was up. Guard is open. Now we're able to get through and kind of watch, watch her, watch her demeanor. I know it's going to change here as we go forward with this call. Right now, but I'll definitely keep you in mind. We just went from, I'm not trying to sell anything to definitely keep me in mind. All because of the tone and my ability to be able to transition. That's super, super important. Okay, yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, you guys kind of thought about it maybe in the future once everything calmed down? Not sure. I kind of in the back of my mind, but not 100% certain. Right? So she's thought about it, but she's not trying to sell at that moment. So she went from, I'm not trying to sell anything, to now she's telling me that she has thought about it, right? So she, that's 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 the reason the key, man. It's just getting over that hurdle of people, that automatic response, right? They hear salesman, no. Salesman, no. If you can get past that by using your tone and using, you know, just being creative with the way that you're speaking to people, you'll be able to get past that initial barrier and, and really be able to close some emails out of these. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, you, you're, not, you're not in no rush. Just take your time. For sure, you know? Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. I'm agreeing again. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're not in no rush. You know, hey, you're just sitting back. You're kind of going to wait on things. When the time is right for you, that's when you'll make a move. That's the tone that I'm portraying over to her. Market is crazy, I'm telling you. <laughs> yep. I got you. Okay, well, hey, in the future, if anything ever changes, would it be a crazy idea if we stayed in touch? Maybe I can help out down the line sometime. Oh, that would be great. Wow, we went from, I'm not selling to, no, that would be great. Crazy, right? That would be fine. Okay. okay. What's uh, a good email for you? And I'll just shoot you my info and just keep it on okay. file. Okay. 
It's uh, at yahoo.com. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, what I'll do, I'll just text you a picture of my business card and kind of, you know, put a face with my voice. And if you ever need anything, just give me a shot. Okay, okay, I will do that. All right, you have yourself a blessed rest of your day. I appreciate it. Thank you, you too. Bye bye. That call was a minute and 50 seconds, so under two minutes to get the email. And, and I overcame an objection, right? You don't want to be on the phone for long periods of time. It's not necessary unless the person just wants to talk, right? So again, another great day, guys. I, I really appreciate you guys watching. Remember, the reason you're getting emails is to start your email campaign. If you're looking for a client, I, I, I use Flowdesk, man. It's, it's amazing the type of emails I can draft. If you want, you can use my affiliate link for $20 a month for unlimited contacts and you're able to send these beautifully structured emails out to your database on a weekly basis, which will help your business. So as always guys, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment in the comment section and I'll catch you guys in the next video.